Are you tired of seeing those big price tags on electric cars? Well, don't worry. The time when electric cars cost a lot is about to end. And I'm here to tell you why. It's no secret that buying an electric car can go heavy on one's pocket. But with the passage of time and a bit of miracles by God, you will be surprised to know that buying an EV is as easy as taking candy from a baby. Yes, you've heard that right. And I'm going to reveal to you the secret behind this. From prices hitting an all-time low to manufacturers catering to hundreds of other car companies, the price war is real and it is benefiting none other than the consumers. And that's not all. Some governments are giving people money to buy electric cars. This makes it easier for people to afford them, but the big question is why? Why is the government happily throwing out money so that people could buy EVs? Is there some governmental propaganda behind all of this? Is the EV industry rising or falling? We shall find out. One big reason why electric cars will become cheaper is because there are more of them being made. It's simple. When there's a lot of something, it costs less to make each one. Demand for electric cars slowed down a bit last year, especially when the British Prime Minister pushed back the ban on regular cars to 2030. This delay happened because electric cars were just too expensive for many people who were already struggling to afford things. But despite this, car companies kept on making electric cars at the same speed. This is partly because the government set rules saying that a certain percentage of cars made by each company must be electric. These rules keep getting stricter over time. By 2025, at least 22% of every car company's lineup must be electric, and that number goes up to 100% by 2035. So, there are more and more electric cars coming out, even though people aren't sure if they want to switch from regular cars yet. With so many electric cars to choose from, car companies have to find ways to make their cars stand out. And one of the best ways to do that is by making them cheaper. So get ready, cheaper electric cars are on the way. Another reason why electric cars will become cheaper is because there are more used ones out there. One easy way to get a new electric car is to lease it or finance it, especially if you're using it for work. You can get big tax breaks that way. And now, more and more of these leased cars are finishing their leases and hitting the market. This means there's a flood of them available for sale. With more choices and more cars to pick from, prices naturally go down. Some people say electric cars lose their value faster than regular cars. But when it comes to buying used cars, this can actually be a good thing. For example, you can now find a used Porsche Taycan for less than 45,000 pounds, even though it cost about double when it was new. Similarly, a Jaguar I-Pace that originally cost around 70,000 pounds can now be yours for just 20,000 pounds if it's five years old. We call that a bargain. These big price drops mean that more people can afford electric cars. Even though there might be worries about how long the batteries will last, many used electric cars still have warranties on their batteries. For example, that Porsche I mentioned still has about 50,000 miles of battery warranty left and the Jaguar is covered for another 65,000 miles. Another big reason why electric cars will get cheaper is because of Tesla. They have a huge impact on the electric car market. Just last year, Tesla dropped the price of their Model Y by 8,000 pounds. This move made a big impact and got everyone's attention. Because Tesla is so influential, other car companies follow what they do. When Tesla makes a change, it affects millions of car sales worldwide. Many of Tesla's competitors have started doing similar things. They've lowered their prices, offered better financing options, or given more discounts. Because of Tesla's actions, the prices of electric cars are dropping. On average, new electric cars are now being sold with discounts of more than 10% off the original price. Some companies are even offering bigger discounts than that. In simple terms, Tesla has set an example for the whole industry. Their moves have made other companies change their prices to stay competitive. This competition is good for us, the buyers, because it means we can get electric cars for less money. So, thanks to Tesla, the future looks brighter for electric car fans everywhere. Another big reason why electric cars are getting cheaper is because of brands from China like BYD. 
While Tesla gets a lot of attention, BYD was actually the top-selling electric car brand in the world last year. They sold a ton of cars in China and now they're coming to Europe with one simple goal – to sell a ton of cars here too. What gives Chinese brands an edge is their ability to keep costs low. In China, making batteries for cars is cheaper. So brands like BYD, GWM, and MG can sell their cars for less money and still make a profit. For example, a BYD Dolphin car costs about 13,000 pounds in China. But even with import taxes, it's still cheaper in the UK than many European cars. MG, which is owned by a Chinese company, is already doing well in the UK. They sell more cars than Tesla here. And it's not just MG brands like NIO, AIways, and Xpeng are also making cool-looking cars that are shaking up the market. With these Chinese brands offering affordable options, electric car prices are sure to keep going down, making them more accessible to everyone. So, even without the influence of Chinese brands, it's clear that electric cars are on their way to becoming more affordable. But let's set aside the impact of these Chinese brands that are shaking the market. There's a very simple reason why electric cars will become cheaper. European car makers will have to bring down the prices of their electric cars to match those of petrol cars. Right now, electric cars cost about 35% more than petrol cars with similar features. This big price difference is mostly because making electric cars, especially their batteries, costs a lot more. Batteries need a ton of energy and expensive materials to make. But here's the good news. The cost of making batteries is going down. As technology gets better and more batteries are made, they're becoming cheaper to produce. With the electric car market not growing as fast as expected, European car brands have a clear choice – lower their prices or risk losing out. And which is why all car manufacturers have started to create cheaper batteries, which would immensely reduce costs. According to Bloomberg, the prices of electric vehicle batteries dropped by a whopping 89% between 2010 and 2020. While it might not always feel like it, there are some solid reasons behind this downward trend. Firstly, economies of scale play a big role. The more batteries that are produced, the cheaper they become. Manufacturers are also localizing the extraction and processing of raw materials to cut costs and reduce carbon emissions. Additionally, car companies are investing in their own gigafactories to produce batteries where the cars are manufactured. For example, Nissan is pouring billions into a gigafactory in Sunderland, UK. Another factor is that car companies are becoming better at repairing and repurposing existing batteries. Tesla, for instance, claims that 100% of their batteries are recycled, meaning none end up in landfills. This not only benefits the environment but also makes things more cost-effective for consumers. A win-win situation. Furthermore, new battery types are constantly emerging. While all EV batteries use some form of lithium-ion technology, there's a variety of ingredients that can be used to make them. Typically, batteries include nickel and cobalt in addition to lithium. However, there's another type called lithium iron phosphate, which, although has a slightly shorter range, is cheaper to produce. Tesla uses this type of battery in the cheapest version of the Model Y, allowing them to slash the price by 8,000 pounds. People have been saying that electric cars would become as affordable as petrol cars for ages, and we're still not quite there yet. But with any luck, we'll reach that point sooner rather than later. Let's be honest, if we want people to actually buy electric cars without needing a second mortgage, then all of these changes have to happen, right? Which is why the government is involving itself heavily in making people buy EVs. The people may not know it yet, but with the purchase of EVs, the politicians and people in the government are benefiting the most. This is due to the commission and profits earned from the sale of EVs. However, not everyone is ready to leave their gas-powered cars and trucks for electric ones, which have brought about new issues into the motor market, not to mention the problems of repairs and cars bursting, which have caused another uproar in the US. So, electric cars are on the verge of becoming much cheaper. With better technology, more competition among car makers, government support, and the impact of companies like Tesla and Chinese brands, prices are going down. 
Also, there's a growing market for used electric cars, offering cheaper options. European car makers are under pressure to match petrol car prices, which is driving down costs further. Plus, improvements in battery technology mean cheaper production and greener options. And finally, with the government incentives of dishing out money to people who wish to buy EVs, it all seems like a dream come true. All of this points to a bright future for electric cars, making them an option for more people. If you've been thinking about getting an electric car but worrying about the cost, now might be the time to go for it. Keep an eye out for those lower price tags. They're coming soon.